Hello everyone. In this video I want to solve some chess tactics on glitches and I want to solve five puzzles. So let's go to puzzles. Uh, now I have uh, 2442 uh, points. So this is uh, uh, quite uh, strong puzzles for me. And let's think what we have in first position. Uh, so at first we can see that uh, white has one extra piece, white has one extra knight on h8, and now I cannot take uh, this piece. Of course at first we can find, uh, uh, we must find checks, the next one is uh, uh, of course uh, captures, and the next one is uh, threats. So, of course, uh, queen d4. This is one of the best moves, I think, for black. So, let's check it. I think we must do this move. Queen d4 check. Yes, this is right, but now uh, it is uh, not easy question what we must do now. So, we don't have any checks, normal checks. Uh, we don't uh, have any... Uh, captures and maybe we can find uh, some of threats. Uh, so what we have? Uh, maybe we can attack this rook and uh, attack this knight. Double attack. This interesting variation. Maybe we can find strong, uh, more strong move. I don't know. But uh, if I do uh, bishop h3 move, he can play, of course, uh, rook d1. And now, if I take this rook, he can take with the bishop, I can take with my rook, uh, king h2. And uh, I don't think this is right variation for me. Also, we can... Uh, do queen f4 move and the next one is bishop d6 with uh, some of threats with the king also interesting move but uh, if we uh, do queen f4 move he can play simply rook c4 and i don't know what we can do in this position so, difficult position for me, I don't uh, see very, very good move now. Maybe simply uh, bishop d6, we attack this knight and the next one is queen f4. Maybe this is right way for black. So let's check it, I don't know. Yes, this is right. Of course, if he goes uh, knight f7, I can play queen f4 with double attack on h2 and on c1, and I think uh, black is win in this position. Let's see what the stockfish uh, said for us. So, about minus uh, seven. Uh, so let's do uh, next next puzzle. So this is end game for us. Uh, black has extra exchange, but uh, we uh, have strong pawn in h6. If we play h7, black can play rook h1, and the next one he can take this pawn. Uh, of course, uh, if I play h7, he can play rook h1, and after uh, knight f6, uh, he cannot uh, capture the spawn. And this is also an interesting variation. The next one I can play uh, king g4 and uh, uh, knight h5. And the next one promote my pawn. So I don't know, maybe I 
can check this move. Let's play h7. Yes, and the knight f6. Of course, this is important move for us. And the next one may be king g4 and knight h5. So let's go. Yes, this is right way. The next one he can play uh, rook h7. And I have one extra knight in this endgame. So let's go to the next puzzle. Uh, in this position, uh, white has one extra piece, bishop, or maybe this extra bishop, I don't know, because he has two bishops for my uh, knight. And uh, what, uh, what can I do now? Of course, at first I can check uh, knight f2 move. I think he must uh, take his... Uh, uh, my knight with his rook and uh, if I simply take, uh, take this rook he has uh, two bishops for my uh, rook and uh, it seems like equal position also uh, white has interesting rook radiate uh, move in some moment so let's check uh, another way, for example, knight f2, rook f2, and uh, rook a1 check. Let's check this move. Uh, if he uh, plays uh, rook f1, I can take it, and the next one checkmate. So let's check knight f2, he must take rook a1 check and if bishop uh, goes to f1 I can also take this bishop and if rook takes king h2 mate I think this is right way let's check yes rook a1 and of course if he sacrifices his queen I can simply take this queen and in the next move I can take this uh, rook and uh, I have uh, queen for two bishops of course uh, queen uh, much stronger than two bishops so let's check uh, another position and this is also end game this is interesting that uh, I have two end games so uh, I have four pawns and he also have four pawns and uh, what move, what uh, kind of moves I can uh, watch on this position? Of course, at first, uh, pawn to h, uh, e6, and he play, he plays uh, king d6, uh, and if uh, king d4, he can take the pawn, and uh, the next one, he of course win in this position. Uh, so, e6, uh, this is mistake, uh, and I must play with my king. Uh, if I play king e3, he can play d4 check, king go back to d3, and he play king d5. And I don't like this variation. Of course, uh, I can play e6 next move. But uh, I I don't think this is the right way. Also, I can play uh, king e3 and after d4, king e4. And d3, I can take the spoon and the next one. Uh, Sorry, sorry. Uh, king e3, d4, king e4, d3, uh, king d3, king d5, and e6. He must take the spawn and king c4 and king d5. I think this is the right way. So let's check it. This is also a difficult puzzle. Yes, this is right. Right way. King e4, yes, d3, I must take this pawn, and uh, maybe e6. 
e6, yes, and let's check it with stoppish. So, of course, he must take this. No, no, not, uh, of course, not in c4. I think, yes, that uh, hs uh, must do uh, also king e4 move because this is only one way to win in this position. And we have a position now, maybe king d6, and I can play like, uh, king f5. And let me show you some more moves in this position so he can win my pawns. Uh, but uh, I uh, can promote pawn h on h file, yes, and this is in position for fight. And go, let's go next to the last position. So, this is also an game, interesting, interesting variation. Uh, so, uh, a white uh, has one extra pawn, but my pawn on a4 is very strong. Of course, I can simply play a3, a3. A3, he can take from b6 and if a2, rook a6. Maybe a3 and after rook b6, rook a8, but now he can play rook a b1 and after a2, rook a1. And I cannot move uh, my pawn. Also, I can play uh, rook b8. For example, he can play d5, a3, uh, d6, a2, d7, and maybe simply king f7. And the next one is a1 with the queen. Hmm. I don't know, it's a strong. Uh, strong uh, puzzle. So let's check rook b8. Yes, this is right. Uh, right way. Maybe rook a8 and a3. Next time. Let's go. Yes, d5. I think I must play a3. I don't see any. A logical move in this position. So, what is next? Maybe a2 and after d7, uh, king f8. So, let's check it. Yes, and after d7, of course, I must play a king f8. Uh, also, a1 with the queen. This is also win for black, but I think. Uh, uh, in a fate much stronger, but uh, of course, we can see this variation with the a to the queen. Next one, I can take and also rook goes to uh, d2. And now I have simply a b5 before we see plan this uh, promotion, and uh, he cannot uh, stop this plan. So, I hope that you enjoy uh, this video with uh, chess puzzle and now I can pretty chess rating with this puzzles to uh, 1500. So, I hope that you enjoy my video, I hope that you also uh, do chess puzzles on the chess or maybe on chesscom or another chess website. Uh, goodbye and see you next time.